Hey everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome again. Um, I thought I'd jump on here and get my little Christmas episode going on. Um, you guys, Merry Christmas. It's almost that time of the year. Happy Holidays. Um, hope everybody's staying warm and cozy. I'm out here in the workshop. It's a little bit chilly, but I don't mind. This is usually how when I go for a long ride, I come out here. This is kind of how I prep. I come out here. I let myself cool off from the inside where I'm not freezing, but I'm a little bit cooler than being warm inside. I don't just jump right out the door from the heat into the cold. I don't like to do that. That can throw me off a little bit. I like to come out into the workshop where it's a little bit of temperature in here. And it's still cold in here, but it's not like freezing cold like the outside. I like to come out here, hang out here for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, get used to it, then gear up and then go out and go for a long ride, take a lunch, eat lunch, come back. Um, but so anyway, what you guys are looking at here behind me, um, this is a 1988 Trek Elegance. It is a 330 model. It is made of Reynolds 531 tubing. It's a uh, double or triple butted, I can't remember. It That don't really too much matter to me. I just, I really, it's a lighter weight bike and I really like the, uh, this style of frame, this double diamond, uh, uh, double pyramid um, frame. I really like this, um, nostalgic look of this kind of a thing here. Um, yeah, I got my barb head. I got a mountain bike seat on it for my Dutch style upright riding. Um, handlebars are from a BMX bike. The neck is from a BMX bike. It's uh, some better BMX stuff. It's not like cheapy Walmart stuff. It's a little bit better stuff anyway. It's heavy. I plan to um, I plan to buy aluminum handlebars for it and kind of do a little bit of I won't put a little bit of money in it still I still need the there's a couple things I still want to do to it I just took it to car wash washed it cleaned it up brought it back dried it off so it's nice and clean and presentable to share to the world to share to you guys gals everybody uh, yeah, welcome to my channel, Grand Subject here. Um, hope you guys are all having a very nice, pleasant uh, this time of the year. I know I am. I've been in a pretty good mood lately. I got a little bit of a stomach bug a few days a few days ago, and I'm kind of recovering over that. I'm feeling like I want to get outside again and go take a long ride. I think the snow's on the way. And I like that. <laughs> I'm wanting to get the e-bike out and take it for a ride. Of course, I'll get this out and ride this. It's just, I've paid so much money for the e-bike. I'm going to get my money's worth out of it as much as I can ride it. Plus the e-bike, it's just, there's so many things I can say about it that I, how I like about it. Um, I really can't understand in my mind any of these people that throw kind of a hissy fit about e-bikes, um, regardless whether they tried them or not. Um, I think they think everybody's supposed to be this almighty healthy person, and a lot of us have, have health issues, so we lean towards wanting to have electric. Um, like for me, I have... I have some severe neck problems uh, from when I was younger and I had broke my neck possibly twice. I definitely know once, but, um, and then I've healed from it, but not quite all the way really healed from it kind of thing ever. This was when I was younger accident. So that's what's kind of propelled me <laughs> to um, put on these Dutch style handlebars so I can be upright. Um, 
like the guys, one of the guys that's on the higher part of the totem pole in this bike stuff, um, said at the uh, Philly Bike Expo, he said on, on video that uh, you'll probably never really ever see a person, um, especially in our country, ever be riding a road bicycle in an upright position. Well, hello everybody, nice to meet you. Um, I do not want to ride bent over. Like, I even still have a hard time getting on the Yokota mountain bike and wanting to go for an, a long ride because I'm still kind of bent over on that bike. Uh, not as much as what this bike would be if it had the drop bars on it still, but it's still quite bent over on that Yokota. Um, and with that bike, there's kind of not really no way to change the handlebars up to this kind of style of handlebars. Um, I know a lot of people won't do it because exactly what I was talking about. Some, I guess every, some people just think everybody's supposed to be almighty strong like themselves because if they can't feel what other people's feeling, they don't care. Um, and I think that's ridiculous, but that's kind of what it is, I guess. I mean, I guess what they would do is they would say, no, don't do this, and they would be like this. They would get this. This thing. To, so that they can get their upright going on, and they're not on these style bars. It's like a, to me, how I feel, it's like a prejudice against just something different with the bike. Like, you have to stay doing what they're doing, or you're not cool, or you're not hip. Um, I'm older now. If I want to be hip and I want to be cool, I'll just go get in my car. That's how I can be hip or cool. Or... Honestly, my e-bike, I still get all kinds of compliments on it. The color of it's really awesome. All the time, I get compliments on it. All the time. Um, and I have another one of these that I hardly ever get out, and I get compliments on it all the time also. Um, but I, like, again, anytime I ever get that bike out, it's, like, demanding to get a compliment. I have not shared that bike yet. Uh, it is an Italian-made racing bike. Well, it's one of these. It's not much of a difference than this. Um, to be honest, this Trek probably has really nice, nicer style lugging, lugging done to it compared to the the other the Italian bike. Uh, I'll get it out and share it. I'm not even giving a hint what it is. Some of you might have already spotted it in one of my videos. I will say that. Some of you might have already spotted it. Um, but probably a lot has not and don't know what it, what it is. These, if this makes you in a more comfortable position to, to feel what I'm feeling when I ride, do it. Do it. Because... Once you go up this far, you really don't want to come back down. You really don't want to go back down once you, once you're sitting, <sighs> once you're sitting like this, you never want to go back to this, unless you're in a race or you're in a hurry or you're trying to impress somebody. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, if I want to impress somebody, I'll just go out there and get in my car. I have not shared any of my car stuff. Um, a lot of people might have really strong opinions to my choice of show car. So I really haven't leaned towards really showing, showing it off really much, what not. Um, but let me jump up real quick. And we wanna talk about my show car. Let me just, I'm on, I'm on. Let me go grab something, bring it over here, and I'll show you. And you'll instantly know what it is. Alright. You'll have to excuse it, it's extremely dirty. Alright, so, 
This right here, you see that? Do you know what that is? It's freaking heavy as crap. You know what that is? That's what kind of cars I like. I don't like, I don't like mini trucks, big trucks. I see that all the time. I want something different, something cool, something that's fun, not something that's, not something that's gonna possibly flip over and everybody in the damn thing dies. Which, with that kind of stuff, yeah, I don't, know, I don't want to even get into that. I'll mess up my video. It's starting to get a little grousy. <laughs> I'm different. I'm very different. I lean more towards urban environment things. If that ain't more urban than anything, I don't know what is. Let me, uh, real quick, also, I'll show why we're out here on my Christmas episode. Here is my electric bike. Now, if you look at them, the handlebars are exactly where they need to be. Upright. Comfortable. Dutch. Um, seat in the exact same spot. I pedal, it's exact, this, this has a little bit closer feel to it, which I like that even better. This has a little bit further reach to the bars, not much, like, we're talking just like this much, it's not much, but every little bit counts kind of thing to be comfortable if you're trying to make your bike extremely comfortable. But yeah, I still get compliments on this thing all the time when I'm out. Um, a really nice color to it if you even like this red color um, I like all colors I, I always have a hard time trying to figure what color I like um, I like silver I like silver I like uh, yeah I like blue certain blues and stuff um, I really really like yellow I like the color yellow because it's so bright um, I like greens. I like I just like all kinds of different colors. I don't have a specific. I can't be uh, prejudiced against one color to the next. I don't care. It's a color. Does not matter. Like I am the least person to have a prejudice against something unless it's like money related or s something in that whatever. Um, up and close, you guys. Did we do that? I am changing this beautiful 2x to a kind of ugly 3x. I'm going to have that on there. That will make my riding a lot more pleasurable. I have my winter pedals on and ready. I just got them on. Again, I just washed and cleaned the bike up real nice. It was actually kind of grimy. Um six speed on the back sun tour two by <laughs> that 531 sticker there so you can see it um yeah I really really like this nice firm but not too firm seat I'm very comfortable on that it's kind of wide it's for it's you kind of want a wider seat when you when you um, bring your handlebars up all the way up. Um, my little chair, I like that. My big huge basket on the back. I'm not trying to be whatever. Some somebody look at me, follow me. I don't care. Follow whoever you want to follow. Doesn't matter. As long as I'm going to get out and get my fresh air for the day, that's all I really care. Um, fenders. Reflectors. <laughs> um, my custom race plate and the numbers keep wanting to fall off. I need some good numbers for that. Um, down tube shifters. Friction. Really nice. This little thing to hold the wheels so the bike won't flip over when there is no fenders on it. A 
the front. Snacks, snack bag, all kinds of snacks, tool bag. Really nice bike. I love it. I still love it, even though I ride my e-bike most often. This was always my go-to before I ever, ever even got my e-bike. Or even really had even thought about it yet. <laughs> anyway, yeah guys. Guys, let me uh, jump out of here. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, we will be back probably around New Year's. I might make a video before New Year's out in the in the ice and snow and whatnot, depending. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Um, catch you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. If I don't see you before then, you don't see me before then. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. Whatever you believe in, whatever it is, it's okay. Keep believing. That's all I know. Um, also, um, if you're traveling, be careful. The weather, especially if you're in the Midwest, up north, you're traveling, be careful out there. There will be crazy traffic and a lot of people in a hurry. See you guys the next time. Later.